I felt stirred in my heart as I prepared, and, and I'm going to just do a bit of salutation shortly, but let me just say this. I felt very stirred in my heart to charge us, um, especially in the area of gratitude and thanksgiving. This, this is not, I, I just thought it, um, while, while we're just coming, it was strong in my heart. Many believers do not see the faithfulness of God consistently in their lives because we have not made it a revelation to always give thanks. I think it's Psalm 107 or so. If you can give that to us very quickly, Psalm 107 from verse 1. Oh, give thanks, it says, unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endure it forever. Verse 2 says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. He's speaking with respect to thanksgiving. Whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Verse 3, it says, and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Verse 4, they wandered in the wilderness. Now watch their situation before his intervention. They found no city to dwell in. Five. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. They cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distress. Seven. It says he led them forth by the right way that they might go to a city of habitation. Verse 8. It says, Oh, that man, on account of the things that he has done, would praise the Lord, not just receive from him, but praise the Lord. Why? For his goodness, it says, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Verse 9. For he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with goodness. Many believers do not lay to heart to be thankful. Many believers do not lay to heart to say, Father, whilst I am expecting this and that and that from you, I must be very intentional about saying thank you for the one you have done. Hallelujah. Do you know thankfulness and gratitude is proof of humility? Hallelujah. We live in a world where many people are embarrassed to acknowledge the contribution of other people to their well-being, to their success, to their progress. We live in a world that prides itself in a feeling of self-sufficiency. In other words, I rose up without any man contributing to my life. And it is not usual for men to give credit because our pride and ego does not allow us to appreciate the contribution of others. Our understanding subliminally is that every time I acknowledge the contribution of God and men, I weaken my sense or my, the, my perception of value. So we believe that every time you declare that unless for God and unless for men, you probably would not be in this state. The feedback we get from that is that it means you don't amount to much. So we always would like to downplay and demean first the contributions of God and then the contribution of people, destiny help us that he strategically positioned. And it is the reason why many people do not receive help continually. I have taught you that one of the greatest ways to invest in relationships is to be grateful. If you cannot contribute value, contribute gratitude. This is someone's revelation already. Every time you are part of a functional relationship that benefits you, if you do not have value to bring, water that relationship by being lavishly grateful, continuously grateful, and your gratitude will be an equivalent value. Are we together? Yeah. I have learned as a principle to always be grateful, to never take God for granted, to never take men for granted. And this probably is a word for someone because you came for miracle service tonight trusting God to reopen doors that were once opened. And I can tell you before you receive those doors opened again, you need to know why they closed in the first place. And for many people it closed not just because of demonic attack, because of an attitude of pride and ingratitude. The man who paid your school fees from a child till you became an adult. When you are appreciating people, you say, well, you are one of the many people who contributed to my life. Just to let you know I'm grateful. Carelessly grateful. 
and you find out that with that attitude the man says no problem i've stopped paying your school fees but the favor that should bring continuity did not rest on you are we together one thing we never see lot telling abraham was thank you among the many things we never see lot saying abraham thank you when god called you he did not call me i followed you foolishly and i became as blessed as you to a point we do not know the one that god called and the one that followed because we we're equally blessed thank you you must learn to be grateful there are doors that will open and remain open for yourself for your children your children's children the prophetic can open doors that is true right keys can open doors but gratitude can keep the doors open it is impossible to ignore a grateful person even if a grateful person wrongs you his gratitude will trivialize that wrong and force you to still forgive hallelujah are we learning now yeah this is true for ministry it is true for your corporate life you maintain you fuel relationships by being grateful thank you so much for introducing me to koinonia i know that it's been one year my life has changed and you may think i've forgotten you but just to let you know that i am grateful and the person says who is this i can't even remember and will kneel down there without you knowing and say oh god for this person to have recognized my contribution bless the person again hallelujah some of us don't say thank you to anybody including god god what have you done i woke up so what i'm alive so what my hands are moving so what i can speak so what the day you do the one that is worth saying thank you i will tell you and god refers you to some tree that i lay me down and i slept he says i only awake because the lord sustained me in one minute while you are seated can you say thank you jesus let him know you are grateful i would have been dead by now but for your mercy uh, it is only somebody who is alive that can trust god for prosperity it is only someone who is alive that can trust god for your ministry expanding it is only someone who is alive that can trust god for vengeance go ahead and thank him for life for health thank him for koinonia the marvelous manifestations of his hand in our midst how could we be ungrateful thank you go ahead tell him thank you let him know you maintain the flow of help and favor through relationships when you are grateful lord i thank you for the things that you have done through this great ministry affecting millions of lives bringing the power of god bringing wisdom to your people we thank you in jesus name we pray the bible says trust in the lord with all your hearts proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 it says and lean not unto your own understanding verse 6 says in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path seven says be not wise in your own eyes fear the lord and depart from evil has someone been blessed already I want to appreciate you for stopping by and uh, listening to Apostle Jesua Shama. And I believe that this message has blessed your life. And this message will continue work in you until it brings forth the glory of the Lord upon your life. And I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. If you have not subscribed, you can also share with other people. And I want you to believe.